The holiday season is here, and how are you going to stay fit? You've got places to be. You've got events to go to. Oh, man, that gut's not going to do well. Too many people don't pay attention, so you got to pay attention to what i got to say now. My name's Nick Tabor, and hey, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever you're going to do. This week is going to be a magic time. It is my favorite, favorite time of year. No matter how many people are around that tree during Christmas, it's always great to spend time, exchange some presents, exchange some stories, and share some smiles, and hopefully have a great, great time sharing some memories at a last a lifetime. But what you have is you have the diet killers. Oh, you have that sweet dinners. You have those places to be, and if you're like, Myself and my wife, you have house to house to drop by to, and you have so many people to see, especially with us, you know, we're a couple, we, you know, have friends around that we see through the time, and, you know, people who we've adopted basically as family and who are close friends, we want to share a meal with them, and you might be off your diet, so my gosh, I... We have friends of ours who, like, they know how to cook. I've been blessed in my life with a family of amazing, amazing cooks. I was a fat kid for a reason. <laughs> I was 305 pounds, but not because, you know, not necessarily just because I was eating at Wendy's all the time or eating burgers. It's because I was not functioning and I was not out and active and... You know, I, I gained all that weight because a lot of people, they eat good food, you know? We have, I have my grandmother at the time of recording this. My grandmother just turned 94. She is a fantastic cook. Um, she knows how to make food, man. I'm like, mm, man, that was good. My mom as well, fantastic. My sister is a person who she learned how to cook, you know, with anything in the pantry. She just has that natural talent that I admire greatly. On my wife's side of the family, we have a young cousin of hers who graduated from Johnson & Wales, as well as his fiance, who is a baker at a local donut shop. If you live in the Providence, Rhode Island, or uh, southern New England area, you might have heard of PV Donuts. Uh, she works there, and... My God, she gives great food. Um, and, you know, there's so on and so on and so on. But honestly, like, food itself is magical if you do it right. If you do it wrong, it ain't that great. But the reason why we have this culture is because we... If we serve food in our, you know, two people, it's because there's a lot of love into it. And, you know, it's one of the expressions of... Of love in general. I mean, there's no other way of saying it. You know, we, if we truly enjoy someone's company, we may bring a plate of food, we may bring some cookies or something, or we may bring that. And, you know, there's a lot to do. I mean, you get around and, you know, you see family and what they do, they feed you. Hey, we've got some great food, you know, come on in, enjoy something. You know, we made some food, come on, come on in, come on in. Because they want you around the table. And that's okay. That's awesome. But it's like, you get to that point, you're like, oh, my belt needs to be undone. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen? And then you get that anxiety. Oh, because December 26th comes around. And what happens? You get New Year resolutionitis. And you say to yourself, ooh, I'm going to be thinner next year. I ate too much. I've gained some weight. I want to do this, I want to do that, I'm going to be skinny, I'm not going to eat one single grain of sugar. Yeah, you will, but it's okay. Don't worry. It's all right. Now, what do you do? How do we get this, Nick? You're a trainer, you're healthy. Tell me, what do we do? Moderation, folks, okay? We keep it moderate. You're going to go house to house, to house. You're going to eat a little bit. You might eat some dessert. But if your cousin goes ahead and makes that beautiful pie, you know, pie that you love all the time, but your favorite uncle is making a great turkey or making great ham, 
and you so on and so on and so on. It's all right. It's fine. What you're going to need to do is you're going to need to just be moderate. Express it to them. I love your food, but eat a little bit. You eat a little bit here. You can always take the food home. You're fine. You can take food home. But what you've got to do is you've got to be able to say, okay, I'm going to eat a little bit here. You know, I got to go house to house to house. I can't eat everything. If you grew up in a, in a family like mine, I cannot refuse food. I, um, in the Fall River, Massachusetts area, it is predominantly Portuguese um, descendants. And for us, like, if I go over to my grandmother's house and say, oh, no, no, no I'm not hungry. Ooh, God, that's kind of insulting. We're not going to do that. Don't do that. Eat some food, please. You know, take some chocolates. Take something. Eat, eat some food. Eat some sustenance. Let them fill you. That's the idea. But, you know, tell them, hey, I'll eat some food, but we've got to go here. I've got to watch myself. Like, this coming week. I am going to see, at the time you're watching this, I'm at my mother-in-law's house, probably eating some food. <laughs> and then, you know, work's going to have something in my day job. Probably eat a little bit there. Christmas Eve, I'm eating some food. Christmas Day, eating, 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 eating my way through there. I mean, I'm probably going to remember the food more than the presents, to be honest. And then... The next day is um, 26th, and I'm there, I'm like, oh, why did I eat that much? <laughs> Moderation, okay? Express, hey, it's gonna, I'm going to be bouncing around a lot. Let me just see what I to do. And then you got to go back to your normal routine. You go to the gym, you might have to do a little cardio. It's okay, don't be scared of cardio for my friends who do bodybuilding. You know, cardio is that thing you do, like you might walk on a treadmill. It's not going to kill you, but you feel it might kill you. It's okay. And you be a little more physically active. And in colder weather, it's a little harder to do that. But take your time with it. You know, do what you, ha do what you can, do what you have to do. And there it is, folks. <laughs> At this point... I want to wish you a wonderful, happy holiday season. Whatever it is you celebrate, I mean, we're all getting together with family. I, it just, ooh, this is a beautiful time, and this is just an amazing adventure that everybody, I, I love when we're all a part of this, and I love when we all see each other, and we're all smiling. Uh, enjoy your time with your family. Share great stories. You might see people who you've never seen in a long time, just enjoy the time. And you get back to normal, but remember, big thing, moderation, okay? Check out another thing I got right here about the food that loves you. Eat the food that loves you back, okay? I'll see you there, and you have a wonderful time and climb.